Well, not a large day here in the big land. Uh, you're getting a bit of firewood now to put in the shed. My um, surgery is not until the 6th now, so so a bit of extra wood in the shed is going to go a long ways because they're not going to be very mobile for a while. So that's where I'm at today and tomorrow's Saturday. And so I'm going to try to get the little fella around the land, maybe have a little boil up or whatnot. So so stay tuned, guys. This is going to be a blast just out and enjoying it before, before the 6th. <laughs> Look at this beautiful wood right here. Yeah, uh, you know... Uh, this will keep me nice and warm out in the shed, you know, when I'm hobbling around, <laughs> waiting for the leg to heal. Maybe I'll have a scattered cook up out there, whatnot. Keep busy at something anyway. This is the first rabbit that I lost uh, the year. And there's not a thing left, just the gut. I'm not seeing no tracks. Well, at least you never touched this one. Is this good? I heard a crawl. Could be a crawl to done it. A little bit windy uh, this morning. We were going to go for uh, for a hunt, but we decided to uh, come out and get some firewood instead and just have a boil up. I My mean, buddy's getting everything ready there for the fire. And I tell you, you just stay tuned and see what we're going to have for a lunch here at once. It's going to be fantastic. Light the fire with today, William. Am um, I Zippo? Yeah, well, he's in St. John's. I picked him up a, a Zippo letter, and I, lo I love the Zippo letters, like because you just stay lit like that. Right, great for a young fellow lighting the fire, especially sometimes you know when the wood is not real dry and all that, it makes it a lot easier, you know. And actually, I got my Zippo that my uh, grandfather owned with me as well, so I'll show that one there at once. I'm just gonna. Draw the shavings, as the old folks would say. Okay. Put your twigs under now. Yep. That's it, like that, yeah. There you go. What are you doing? Getting a kittle stick? Yeah. Good job, buddy. Throwing off a lot of heat there now. <laughs> well, he almost got the kittle stick ready, so the, the kit will soon be going on. And just look at this, guys. We got some snow crab sections right there. They're froze, so I'm just tying them by the fire. And same thing, I got some smoked mackerel. Now, William caught those mackerel in Williams Harbor during the summer, and I showed that in a video. I'm gonna put that video in a link in the description if anyone wanna go back and uh, look at that. Yeah, so, yeah, after we caught them, I uh, went back to Goose Bay. I smoked them and froze some. And now we're going to enjoy some right here, out on the land. Of course, now we got to have the, the twig in there. Spruce twig. Oh, just look at that. It's starting to smell a bit now. Oh, that nice smoky smell. And the crab sections are tying. And the kipper will soon be cooked. This is going to be fantastic. Put them a little closer there like that. Oh yeah, the heat's on them. I'm not going to take one out. And then chill. Meat inside, not going to hurt. And you know what guys, uh, right now, you know, I say it's probably uh, a good time to uh, enjoy some snow crab legs because the price will probably uh, rise from here on out. Uh, a little bit, but he's on fire there from the grease. <laughs> that kettle should still be done too now. Little fellas get some homemade bread ready there. You know, the kettle was cooking there for a little bit. Didn't cook a little while longer. Be bound over now pretty soon. Hear it in there. There's steam coming around the edge there. Look, bubble mad there. 
I'm gonna do is just give that a kick right down there. Oh, just look at that. Oh, small kettle, just two tea bags in there. Not a big kettle, so I gotta make sure I got enough there for myself. <laughs> That's Williams there. And I'll probably, uh, yeah, I'll probably pour up mine and just put another kit before we back on, I guess, eh? Yeah. Ooh. Because I'm a little thinner than Dad do. Huh? <laughs> Got another one. That's good. Yeah. That's, that's only a vapor tin slice there. This is just grand. Just look at that, smoked mackerel. Oh. I think the kettle's cooked again already. Only a small kettle. I'm gonna take an eye from the lodge on the side there. Oh yeah. Mmm, tasty fish you got, buddy. Yeah. I smoke my eyes. Oh, look at that there. Mmm. Well, guys, we're just enjoying it, you know, uh, enjoying it while we can because another couple of days, well, the day's the third. On the sixth, I got my uh, surgery, so. Go to smoke. Mm. Now, William, he loves the crab legs, so this is what he's been really waiting for. Oh, yeah, they're running through. Oh, look at the steam coming in, buddy. Oh. Ooh. And I'll put that claw on one side. He's a little bit soon to the throws. And the uh, section on his log right there. No more heat than that one. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. one side. Now, there you Yeah. You tell me, what's that like? Delicious. <laughs> he loves the crab legs. Let me see here. Well, what should I do for you here? Just spoke my eyes, but look at that there. Yeah. Oh, well, let me get the video. Eat. Good or why? <laughs> oh yeah, what a treat. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that one, William. I'm going for round two here now. Ooh, look at that right there. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, 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 just look at that right there. What? Well, we had a fantastic lunch. I tell you, we're getting some real nice firewood here as well, too. Look at that. And before I go, I'll show you Pop Slitter. Got the firewood in. Yeah. So 
that extra uh, the extra bit of wood is going to be coming real handy. And before I go, I'll show you my inventory here in the shed. And these are all seal skin ornaments. Look at that. Another polar bear. Yeah, well, I guess that's it for this one though. Guys, I really appreciate y'all watching. Take care and hope to see you all on the next one. All the best from the big land.